I didn't actually think I had bought slash received that many books this month. Like in my head I'm thinking this video is gonna be like three books and you know that's it it'll be done. Until I started looking at my shelves and I was like hmm, I got that this month and I got that this month and I got that this month and eventually I managed to get a big pile of books that I completely forgot about. And I just remembered that I have a few more that I need to go and get because I just put them in the wrong room. I'll be back. Okay, so I'm back and I'm just going to jump straight into this and to you guys all these amazing books. So first up, um, I went into the city with my pop um, who's currently over from England and he decided to treat me to a graphic novel that I had been wanting for so long but it like costs lots of moolah and so um, he ended up buying it for me and I'm so grateful and happy and that is Buffy the Vampire Slayer which you guys must know about because it's not only amazing but also a TV series and I just am so happy that I actually own this and I love it so much. I've already read it and I totally recommend you guys getting it too. I opened this one just this morning and I'm so grateful I was part of the cover reveal for this um, book. Um, the first one is The Next Together by Lauren James and it was amazing. I have just received and that is The Last Beginning and these covers are not only amazing but the stories are great and it's LGBT so jump on it. Um, I'd also like to do a quick mention um, to wonderful publishers and authors who have amazing book covers at the moment. Like, this month was filled with so many good releases that are genuinely pretty as well, including Furthermore by Tahira Murphy, and I am so excited to get this book and to read it, and I just wish that I wasn't in such a big reading slump because I'd be tearing into it right now. And longer waited for me to finally own this book, but I've been really wanting it in hardcover, so I've been saving up for it, and I finally got it. And that is Everything Leads to You by Nina Lacour, and this is another LGBT book, and I just am so excited. It's a contemporary, and I've heard amazing things about it. I already recommend it to everyone, so I bet I'm going to love it. So to complete my hardcover collection of the Throne of Glass series, I ordered the Assassin's Blade in hardcover, because for some reason I didn't have this one, but now I do. And I also got in paperback and in hardcover Empire of Storms by Sarah J Maas and ah. Now for this next pile of books I really want to thank Boffin's Bookstore which is one that is like a local bookstore to me because they put aside like ARC copies for me to read and review so I also got a huge pile of them so starting off we have Renegade by J.A. Sodas so this one has actually been released and um, the girl Amy who works there was telling me about this book and says that the cover can be very like different to the storyline and like it's pretty gory and gruesome and really good as well so I'm pretty excited to get around to that one. Every Falling Star by Sunji Lee and Susan McKellen so this is based on a true story of a character who survived and escaped North Korea. So it's going to be pretty intense and there are pretty great reviews on this so far so I'm very excited but this one comes out September. It's probably out now. You guys should go and buy it and read it. Beck by Mal Pete and I haven't heard much about this one um, but same thing the bookstore said it was really good and so of course I was like I'm gonna read that and I'm probably gonna enjoy that and then I'm gonna recommend it. The Sign of One by Eugene Lambert and from what I got about the blurb of this book basically twins are born they are cursed one is good and one is evil and in this case we have the main characters who are twins and so you have the bad one and the good one and a story where lots can unfold. I actually went into the bookstore and picked up the final copy of this book and then they told me that they got an ARC for me so I put it down and I quickly picked this one up in the ARC copy and was so eager to read it and that is The Call by Peter O'Gullen and basically it is about like Irish folklore um, fairy tales and like how they're evil and it's just gonna be so good and I'm very excited. So basically it's like um, say someone can be wandering through the forest, step into a fairy circle, they get transported to this other land where fairies basically hunt humans. I'm pretty sure it's children that um, it's mostly based around um, but they have to try and survive like the hunt that these fairies do trying to kill people and it sounds really good and I'm really excited to read it. This next one is Melissa De La Cruz's new book and that is Something In Between and I have heard so many amazing things about this book and I really am excited to read it. It's about a girl called Jasmine who's basically this perfect picture girl. She's Filipino and it's only when her parents tell her that their visas expired years ago that she knows that she is an illegal immigrant and they have to kind of decide what they're going to do. So her entire life is set in this country and she doesn't exactly want to leave. So yeah, it's going to be pretty intense and good and I've just heard so many wonderful things about it. So thank you to the bookstore for giving me all those books. I'm very grateful and excited to get around to reading them when this reading slump 
it's gone. So next up is one that I am currently reading and that is A Torch Against the Night by Sophia Tihir and this is the second book in an Ember in the Ashes series and I just really enjoy it. Um, I'm taking my time to get through it though because I'm kind of like pushing myself through this book and although it is amazing I'm just like so tired when I'm reading at the moment but I absolutely love this series and if you guys are like a fan of like dystopia slash fantasy mostly fantasy I would definitely recommend that you guys pick this up it is really good so far. Next up I'd like to thank Penguin Random House for sending me out these next three books. It is also a series called The Chronicles of Kea by Charlotte Mahogany and I have read the first book Avery which was really good. This book I think I gave like a three and a half star rating. I didn't really know what to expect going into it. I absolutely adored the cover and I was kind of surprised by what I read. Some of it was good, some of it was bad but overall I definitely want to continue on with the series so I will. So this is a fantasy series um, where basically you have have two different countries at war with two very different people. You have the Kayans who they have a bond made so they fall in love with somebody and then they are paired with them for life. If one of them dies the other one dies as well. Um, and then you also have the Parenti who are these huge brutes who just don't care about women and they just want to beat people up and kill people and they really have no point in life really. So you have the main girl who's called Ava and it starts out with her bond mate dying and somehow she manages to survive the ordeal so she has been living without him for two years and the only thing that she has on her mind is revenge she wants to kill the parenti queen who killed her partner and so she tries to and ends up getting stuck with the parenti prince who is taking her to an island but unfortunately things do not go to plan and uh, there might be a little bit of love there might be a little bit of danger there's a lot of fighting and it was it was pretty, pretty good. So you also have the second book, Thorn, which is already released, and the third and final book, which is Isadora, which I got in this format because it is not yet released, but it is very hyped up and there are a lot of people on good reviews about it already, so I really am excited. I hope that this series does improve with every book, and uh, fingers crossed it does. So that one is also an adult series, so it is pretty uh, steamy. Ooh, sorry, I talked a lot about that one. Next up is My Lady Jane by Cynthia Hand, Brody Ashton, and Jodie Meadows, and it has deckled pages! I'm going to be reading this book sooner rather than later because I've heard good things about it. It seems like it's going to be a fun, intense, good read, and I just need one of these kind of books at the moment, so yeah, I'm very excited for it. Never Night by Jay Kristoff. And um, I think we all like know what this book is about. We're all very excited for it. Not only is it a phenomenal cover with like amazing inside star pages and wonderful maps and everything like that, but it is apparently one of the best storylines and intense and stabby, stabby, stab and killing and good fantasy which should be enough for you guys to want to read that. And lastly, um, I would just like to say that this is my most highly anticipated book release of the year. And it actually arrived sort of on time. Like every time I pre-order a book, it comes like two weeks after the release date. But it arrived, guys, and that is Crooked Kingdom by Leigh Bardugo. And I didn't even know that I had ordered this with the red trimmed pages, but apparently I did, and look at it in all of its absolutely beautiful glory. And that is pretty much, like, the blood of my characters that are most likely going to die. Hey, hey, so that's all the books that I read this month. No, I didn't. Those are all the books that I bought this month. <laughs> Thank you to the people who gave me books um, and publishers and authors and all you amazing people out there because I just love getting books so much. I'll be back soon with another video. I'll be kind of like mass uploading a few videos because I've been pretty absent lately, which will just keep on the down low. I don't know why I wink. I'm so bad at it. I just, I've got to stop doing that. Anyway, because I'm rambling, I'm going to go now. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys soon. Hey guys, it's Jillian. Today I am back with a top 10 favourite YA Kitchen Freeze video. So in 10th place we have The Unexpected Everything by Morgan Madsen. 